what's up everybody how is it going welcome to another video of tutorial series learning code igniter from scratch i'm your host anwar ali and i'm here today with a new topic and the topic is editing and deleting entries of database using code igniter so in our previous video we learned how to add a new content using html form and code igniter so we had completed add new news and today we'll be working on edit and delete. So let's see how can we edit and delete entries using Code Igniter. Okay, so let us grab our Code Igniter folder, CI folder from our uh, document root, uh, which is application amps www.ci. Let me maximize this. Controller admin, and we were working on news controller. Similarly, we last time covered admin news and add of PHP. <coughs> Just like add dot PHP and save. So this is to load the form, and this is to save the entries. I'll be copying these two functions. and I'll name this as edit and I'll name this as update okay so we'll modify this accordingly so just like add form we need an edit form where we'll be auto populating our entries from the database into the form and after we hit save I want to update it to update.php I mean update function <coughs> Now, first things first, we need to create a view and I would like to name it same as the uh, function. So I'll just call it edit. Okay. So inside our news, I need to create a new file for the view and that should be called edit.php. And in edit.php, we need the exactly same form. So I'll just copy this and paste this. Just change some of the labels. So add Add, it's not add now it's now edit new edit news <coughs> and since we are and we have created a function called update so I'll be submitting this form to update so that's it for now uh, we have a form ready and now all we need to do is auto populate these forms uh, with the fields in the database right okay let's see first of all if you got the form now another thing we need to pass the ID while we edit right now there is no ID for this so we need to pass which ID with the ID of the entries that that uh, the ID of the entry that we want to edit right so I need to pass the ID in the index file in the index file we have an edit button and I need to pass the ID over here so unlike in core PHP we pass the ID using uh, <coughs> query strings like question mark let me just show you so we used to pass something like this right edit.php question mark id equals to one or id equals to row id <coughs> but in code igniter we, we will not be doing in qu query string approach rather we'll be using uri segment to pass the id so what we'll be doing is uh, since we need to call edit function to load the view for the edit so that is what we need to pass over here so echo site underscore URL I want to send this uh, edit button to the edit function of news controller so that a new form is loaded edit so I'll pass a uh, site URL admin news edit right but at the same time, I also need to send the, uh, the ID of the entry that I want to edit. So in order to, I will not be using question mark, but rather I'll be using slash and just concatenate the ID of the, uh, I mean, requested news. And my ID is an ID, just like n title and author. I need to send an ID, right? Now, as we send the ID uh, in URI segment, now we can receive that ID as a parameter inside this function so as an argument I'll just create an ID and this ID will receive the ID that we send in the URI segment 
So now we can use that ID and grab the entries from the database. So in order to grab the entry from the database, uh, I need to create a function in the model first. <coughs> so in my model, we have a news model and I'll just create or just like get all, I'll just make a function that, say, that says uh, function get by ID where I'll be passing an ID and using this ID I will be uh, grabbing the in all of the fields of this entry with ID number this okay so what I will be doing is this DB so we had two types of get I told you so if you just do get it will grab each and every entries and if you have a specific condition you can use get underscore where and in the first parameter I need to send the <coughs> Uh, table name which is news and in the second parameter I need to pass the condition an array format as we discussed earlier so if you remember <coughs> in my controller called login I had sent the I mean in model called admin I had sent the conditions in array format with two index username and password username had its value and password has had its value so always whenever we use getware we need to pass the condition in array format right so similarly here I will be creating an array so what I want here is select all from news where ID equals to this ID right so I will be creating an array this way where ID equals to dollar this ID right so this is what I want to do so by doing this I am grabbing all the uh, fields from the table news where ID equals to this ID and obviously there is only one entry with this ID so we will be not uh, grabbing the result this way but we will be grabbing just one entry and in order to grab one entry we will be using row now let us just return this okay so once this is being returned now we can call this over here so what I can do is I can create a da data uh, news equals to dollar this our model is news model so news underscore model and get by id is the function we created and here we need to pass id as you can see in get by id it is expecting a parameter id so we are passing this id and we are calling the function get by id <coughs> of news model <coughs> and the news model is already loaded in the constructor <coughs> so i don't know, need to load it again I can just uh, call the function of news model and pass the ID and this will grab all the fields of the entry and return it to the data news. Now in order to pass this data news to the view, all I need to do is just send the name of the array this way. So after we send the name of the array, uh, we can use the variable news in the view. So if you remember in our index we did the same thing data news equals to we grab the all of the entries of the database and sent it to the view and in the view we don't have to use data rather we can just use the index as a variable similarly in edit uh, we already have news data news we grab the entry now we can use this value <coughs> to in order to save the entry to the database i mean to list uh, entries in the form all right so we have sent the data and we can use now this index as a variable inside our edit.php so in our news variable we have our uh, title our description and author that we fetch from the database so what we can do now here is value equals to php echo <coughs> news and for this we need title so title and here we need author so value equals to php echo dollar news author and since we are uh, sending the uh, row instead of result so I don't need to use loops I can just directly print out the values this way and similarly for text area I can write in the middle php echo dollar news description okay now we also while updating it we again need the id right so uh, which id i want to update so again we can pass the id using uri segment this way so dot dollar 
news id so this means the changes i'm making on the form is for this id not other id right so now inside our update we again have to receive this id by doing this now i'll create another function in the model instead of save i'll call it update and i'll make this news updated successfully and i'll redirect it to index okay <clears throat> now i need to create a function for update so go back to news model i'll just copy the save function paste it over here now while i I'll, now while i call the update function i'll just send this id so that our code recognizes which id i need to update so i receive this id from the form i'm sending this id to the update now inside my update i'll create another function called update and i'll receive this id this way i have an array that uh, contains my title author and description now instead of doing this db insert i can just write this db update the first parameter for this will be <coughs> news and second parameter will be this array that i want to update and now since this is update i need a condition where id equals to this id so i can do all of this db where and pass my condition over here array id equals to dollar this id so by by doing this we are ready to uh, check to see if our update works or not so let's see i would i just uh, want to change this a a to something else so let us edit this now we can see our contents are now being shown okay so what i want to do is i want to make this a a a a and uh, let's say a a right if i now hit save news it should be changed to a a and now you can see news updated successfully so i think we <coughs> we have completed our update for code igniter now let us quickly go towards delete <coughs> for delete uh, first of all i need to create a function for delete so function function i'll just name it delete and again just like for edit we need to specify the id uh, similarly for delete we also need to specify the id because we want to be specific that which id we want to delete or which entry we want to delete right similarly we have to run a query in the model so that uh, we know which and uh, so that we can communicate with the database and perform the query execution so this model i'll just make it delete okay we will uh, create a function called delete and use it and after the delete delete has been made i want to create a flash data this session flash data success news deleted successfully and i want to write back to the admin now i need to create this delete function in the model so let us create this function public function oh let us just write function delete and send the id and just like we pass the condition here this db where i'll do the exactly same thing i want to know which entry i want to delete so this db where id equals to this id and all of this db delete and inside delete i want to first of all mention the table name so i'll write the table name is news and that's it because we don't need to pass array inside delete i just want to delete the entry with this id so i know i don't need to do anything i just need to mention the table name and our delete is completed let's try to see now the last thing i want to do is i want to give the uh, href for the anchor for the delete just like edit so this was the site url for edit i just want to copy this and i'll write the same thing for delete as well okay so inside our href of the delete i will write echo site url admin news instead of edit i would like to make it delete and pass the id over here so inside news i pass the id so inside model i pass the id now we have id over here we grabbed it 
we uh, made a condition with right equals this and I just deleted the news. So let us check to see if everything worked fine. Let us say I just want to remove testing. So click on delete and testing is gone. So that's it. So I, I don't think that was too much complex for you to understand. And that was some easy stuff. And since we already covered our adding of the entries, so I, I hope the editing and deleting was quite simple. <coughs> So, <coughs> uh, uh, I will see you tomorrow uh, with a new topic. Till then, I hope you will be uh, trying your best to uh, work out with these add, edit, delete, and select crude operation. So once we have, once we are just uh, good with all these functions, then we can move move on to front end. But tomorrow, I will covering one more topic, and that is, that will be the pagination for news. So. As soon as we add more and more news, you will see that we will be having uh, hundreds of, or maybe let's say 50s and hundreds of news in, in our listing. And in order to manage these, we can have pagination with page number one, page number two, page number three, and page number four. So tomorrow we can cover that. And I, I don't think that will be too complex, um, but uh, you can also go through the documentation of pagination before we start that so that it becomes easier for you to understand. Similarly, after we cover our pagination, we'll just work out with the uh, search, searching of the news using Code Igniter. And <coughs> then we can maybe start uh, from the front end. We'll list our news, we'll make our news detail page, make it look a little bit uh, fancy, and just let's see uh, how it goes on. So I hope you guys understand, uh, understood my uh, explanation in the video. And if you did, if you like the video, don't forget to hit subscribe, don't forget to share it, comment on it and give the thumbs up and till then you can have good practice. I will be preparing on the new video and I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the new video. Till then have fun. Bye-bye. Uh,